Hello everyone, this is Ampus124 here, and guys, today we're going to be reading numbers 1, guys, and guys, I want to go ahead and congratulate all those people that decided to go ahead and be with me in my whole Bible series, and that is dedicated to go ahead and watch every single little video. Anyway, yeah guys, we're on numbers now, I hope that you guys really are following along, but anyway, if you guys want to go ahead and read along, you guys can go ahead and go to BibleGiver.com, or, or you guys can go ahead and go get your own Bible. I'll be reading from the New International Version, also known as the NIV. I don't really care how you guys are going to do it, but let's get started. The Census. The Lord spoke to Moses in the tent of meeting in the desert of Sinai on the first day of the second month of the second year. After the Israelites came out of Egypt, he said, Take a census of the whole Israelite com community by their clans and families, listing every man by... Name one by one, you and Aaron are to count according to their divisions all the men in Israel who are 20 years old or more and able to serve in the army. One man from each tribe, each of them have each of them the head of his family is to help you. These are the names of the men who are to assist you from Reuben, Eliezer, son of Shidor, from Simeon, Shilunar, son of Zershida. Sorry, guys, if I mispronounce any of these words, from Judah, Nashon, son of Aminadab from Issachar, Nathaniel son of Zor from Zebulun, Eliab son of Hilon from the son of Joseph from Ephraim, Elishima son of Imihud from Manasseh, Kamalal son of Pedazer from Benjamin, Abidan son of Gideoni from Dan. Ahizer, son of Amishadar, from Asher, Pedro, son of Okran, from God, and God, Elisva, son of Duel, from Naphtali, Naphtali, Ahir, son of Enon. These are the men appointed from the community, the leaders of the ancestral tribes, their heads of the clans of, the, of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men whose names have been set specified, and they called the whole community together on the first day of the second month. The people registered their ancestry by their clan and families, and the men 20 years old or more were listed by name one by one as the Lord commanded Moses, and so he counted them in the desert of Sinai. From the deserts, descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, all the men 20 years, 20 years or old or more, who were able to serve in the army were listed by name one by one according to the records of their clans and families the numbers and the, num the number from the tribe of, of reuben was 46,500 from the descendants of simeon all the men 20 years old or more who are able to serve in the army were counted and listed by name one by one according to the name and uh, records of their clans and families the number from the tribe of simeon was 59,300 from the des descendants of Gade, all the men 20 years or more, or 20 years old or more, were able to serve in the army or were listed by name according to records of those clans and families. The number from the tribe of Gad was 45,650. The descendants of Judah, all the men 20 years old or more, who were able to serve in the army or were listed by name according to the records of their clans and, clans and families. The number from the tribe of Judah was 74,600. From the descendants of Issachar, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Issachar was 54,400. From the descendants of Zebulun, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Zebulun was 57,000. From, under, the, from the sons of Joseph, from the descendants of Ephraim, all the men 20 years old, old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Ephraim was 40,500. 40, from the descendants of Manasseh, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Manasseh was 32,200. From the descendants of Benjamin, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number 
from the tribe of Benjamin of 35,400. From, descend- from the descendants of Dan, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clan- clans and families. The number from the tribe of Dan was 62,700. From the descendants of Asher, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name. According to records of their clans and families, the number from the tribe of Asher was 41,500. From the descendants of Naphtali, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name. According to records of their clans and families, the number from the tribe of the number from the tribe of Naphtali was 53,400. These were the men counted by Moses and Aaron and the twelve leaders of Israel, each one representing his family. All the Israelites, twenty years old or more, were able to serve in Israel's army. Were counted according to your families. The total number was six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty. The ancestral tribe of the Levites, however, was not counted along with the others. The Lord had said to Moses, you, "Moses, you must not count the, the tribe of Levi or include them in the census of the Israelites. Instead." Point the Levites to be in charge of the, of the tabernacle of the covenant law, over all its furnishings and everything belonging to it. They are to carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings. They are to take care of it and they camp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is to move, the Levites are to take it down. And whenever the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall do it. Anyone else who approaches it is to be put to death. The Israelites are set are to set up their tents by divisions, each of them in their own camp. Under their standard, the Levites, however, are just are to set up their tents around the, the tabernacle of the covenant law, so that my wrath will not fall on the Israelite community. The Levites are to be responsible for the care of the tabernacle of the covenant law. The Israelites did all this just as the Lord commanded Moses. I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the like button. Make sure to click the bell to be notified when I post. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.